oh, we like food. We like talking about it. We love to create it. And we love sharing it. Arrow.net. A-R-R-O-E dot net. Let's do it. Let's play it forward. These are real people, real stories, the struggle to play it forward. Episode number 506, Alejandra Ramos, The Great Recipe. I am so excited for this. I heard you have great energy. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Well, you're talking about my favorite subject, which is food. I mean, the great American recipe. My God, this is exactly what I want to see. Guy after my own heart. Yeah. uh, Food (laughs) is the most fun thing to talk about. You know, I'll I'll tell you what. I, I never found myself in a kitchen until the lockdown. And now when you've got a show like this, I mean, it's like, oh, this is up my alley. I really want to learn from these other, you know, these these home cooks. Well, what is really great about it is that unlike competitions that feature, you know, like professional chefs and they're cooking restaurant food, these really are home cooks sharing their treasured family recipes. They're cooking what they really make in their own home kitchens. So it's going to inspire folks and everything is accessible. Everything is something that you can make in your kitchen. And we give you the recipes. We're going to have a cookbook coming out. So we give you everything you need. See, once again, you're right up my alley. And, and, and I love this because what, what I got hooked on during the lockdown was I, I would stand there and challenge myself, make a soup but it has to be something from the pantry that you've never used before. But it's got to taste really, really good. I love that. I think that's such a great way to kind of encourage, like stretch your skills, right? And and use up those ingredients. And I, and like, you, you're right. Like so many people during lockdown went back to the kitchen because they had to cook, right? We weren't going out to restaurants. We're going to parties and stuff. <laughs> uh, and, and so I think it really is just such a cool thing because now people are coming out of it, but they're still cooking and you're still making delicious food at home. And so many people fell in love with the kitchen and I hope that they'll fall in love with the uh, with our contestants and the recipes on our show. Absolutely. It's an eight-part cooking competition. And what, what I, what's really neat about this is that you're, you're not, these they were not uh, going to a culinary school. These are real, honest-to-God people who are who are in this competition exactly yeah these are just real people we've got a firefighter we've got moms (laughs) we've got business owners there was one girl she's like i work in a bank uh and so what's really great is that these it really is food that people cook at home and that they're really just telling us what they grew up eating the flavors that they love and telling us who they are and and consequently who, what america is who america is through through all these amazing uh food stories now you talk about that firefighter come on some of the best food on the planet is is at the firehouse they know how to cook they know how to cook and those are like tough judges right like actually uh, dan who's our firefighter he's from rhode island italian background his food uh is just passed down through generations of, of cooks from italy uh, so he made like this incredible spicy calamari he had oh handmade meal he was always making homemade pasta the thing called chicken sicilian that i dream about um and what's cool is like he, we were like dan are you worried about getting judged by like chef ram elliott and tiffany dairy and leah cohen and he's like i cook for firefighters like <laughs> you know <laughs> There's nothing you guys can say to me that is going to be more intimidating than what I deal with at the firehouse. <laughs> it, it, it's fun to go watch the, the the fire department when they arrive at a grocery store. And, and I do that because I, they all work together on how they're going to prepare that meal. And it's like, wow, you guys are a team on uh, when you're out there fighting the fires and you're a team in the kitchen. Yeah, well, I mean, these are people who know how to do, yeah, teamwork is so important. Um, and that was always one of my favorite things, too. I actually, I used to, before I started doing TV, I used to work in next to a firehouse and so the grocery store that i went to after work was always full of the firefighters shopping and then had their baskets and i'm like what are they making like i would love to go to a restaurant that's just like a firehouse restaurant (laughs) (laughs) except that they might have to like leave every so often right (laughs) you 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 talk about dan with his roots from uh the east coast of the united states these these cooks are from all over the country and and that right away um i know that what we used to eat up in montana is is montana food i mean and so i mean there's so many different regions you're dealing with here Exactly. Well, that's, yeah, I mean, you nailed it. So we've got 10 uh, cooks from 10 regions around the United States. Uh, But one thing to keep in mind is that not only are they just cooking like the food from, you know, their state or their city or town, but they're also cooking foods from their personal stories. So, you know, we have chefs with like a Vietnamese background, with Italian background, with Mexican background, because sometimes where you live physically isn't where your heart also lives. Mm -hmm. Uh, And so we get both parts of that and we celebrate both parts of that. um, And, and, 
and we really just get to enjoy every step of someone's journey that's, uh, that's through so, through their recipes. That's so funny you bring that up because just the other night I was talking with my sister and we were talking about the, the, those old home dishes mom would make and, and, and it's like we would never really eat that these days but yet we were hungry for it. You know what? Exactly. That's like, and I think that so many people can relate to that where sometimes you just wake up and you're like, I want to eat that thing that, you know, that my mom used to make or that what they served at lunch when I was in fifth grade. My mom actually called me the other day and said that she woke up with a craving for um, like a chicken stew that my grandmother used to make. <laughs> and so she made it from scratch, like from memory. Uh, and it's not something that she would eat all the time, but sometimes you just want, you know, you need that little, that love, that comfort. You need those flavors of home. And I think, I hope rather than when people watch the show, they'll recognize things, right? They'll recognize dishes and flavors, and they'll see themselves represented uh, in, in our cooks. Well, you're proving that that cooking in the kitchen and, and on the Great American Recipe, it's the Play-Doh of 2022. In other words, we're going in there to play, and there's amazing things that, that that's, that's being cooked up. Absolutely, yes. I mean, this is a fun show. It's a joyful show. Uh, I want people to watch it with their kids and their friends. Yeah. And uh, we have a hashtag, recipe, hashtag recipe PBS. So, like, if you watch, get on Twitter or Instagram or whatever and talk about it. I love, like, chatting with folks and seeing what, what's really resonating with them and getting inspired. I love your – if you've got cool recipes, send them to me. I love I love uh, learning. I'll do it. I'm going to send you my soup recipes because I invented I want some your soup good recipe. stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Please come back to this show anytime in the future. Future, the door is always going to be open for you. I'm going to take you up on that offer. Errol. Please do. Please do. <laughs> be brilliant today, okay? Thank you so much. You too.